So guys, the error that I'm gonna show you here is basically an example of why I created this video. So when my screen loads up, it's basically gonna show you that there's like a jailbreak detection and after that, the application just automatically just shuts down and I'm like, what? What is up guys, here's Shia City coming at you with another video and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass basically any jailbreak detection out there that will basically solve all your jailbreak detection problems. With that being said guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so now so you can move videos just like this. Anyways guys, let's get straight into this video. Guys, what you need in this video is a jailbroken and if you all, if you don't have a jailbreak, then you don't, you, don't, you don't really need to watch this video. I don't even know why you're watching this video. But anyways guys, if you watch this, if you're just watching this video just because, well thank you so much because now I know that, you know, you support me and stuff like that. Anyways guys, so let's get straight into it. So guys, what you need, the first thing that you need to do is you want to go on Cydia. Alright guys, so once you're on CD, what you need to do is add this source. I'm also leaving it down in the description. Guys, but before you even try to add the source, guys, there's a way, there's a faster way to add sources faster. Guys, just check out this video right here. I'm going to have it right there just floating around, guys. What you need to do is add that video down because that video is going to help you out with, on how to add sources faster. With that being said, guys, basically what you need to do is you want to go on add so, uh, sources. And once you're on sources, you want to go on to add plus plus sources. And once you're in there, all you need to do is just type in AK. And once you have done that good jazz, it's basically going to be right there. I don't know how to say it, but I think it says Ecusi, Ecusio, Ecusio, like sl slitter that I O. It's EQ, EQ, yeah. And guys, it's basically going to be the first one. So all you need to do is just basically tap it. And once you have done that good jazz, basically you're going to find add. So what you need to do is just tap on add. And basically the source is going to add so fast, like you don't really need to even type it down, guys. I recommend you guys go check out that video you know what i'm saying like just click on that little eye circle looking button and you'll find the video anyways guys so the, the source is actually installing and guys once it's done installing all you need to do now is just tap on return to cedia and once you have done that good jazz guys all you need to do is you want to go on the source so let's go and tap on the source and let's uh, cancel that whoa what the cedia <laughs> cedia just went dark Block lives matter, boys. <laughs> All right, so let's go on here, guys. Okay, so sources. And guys, once you have sources, what you need to do now is you want to go on to AK, uh, the, the source itself. And guys, once you're in there, what you need to do is you want to tap on system. And once you have done that good jazz, all you need to do now is just tap on kernel and then just basically install this motorcycle. So let's install it. Boom. And install one more time. And it's going to install everything for you. And just tap on return. And, I mean restart <laughs> I meant to say okay so once you have restarted your phone what you need to do is tap in your passcode and everything like that all right guys so once you have done that good jazz guys go back into Cydia all right so let's go back into Cydia real quick all right guys so once you have Cydia what you need to do is you want to go on the search bar and type in M terminal so let's go and type in MT MT basically so find the one that has Big Boss Repo. So this is the one that has Big Boss Repo. So just keep going down this until you find, uh, let me show you here, until you find Big Boss Repo. That's the one that I want you guys to download. But there's also another one down here. And this is, I don't think this is made by Big Boss Repo. But you can also install that if you want, I don't know. But uh, what I wanna do is install the Big Boss Repo one. So let's go on and install that one. So let's install it, boom, bang. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright, let me get rid of that. Alright, so then return to Cydia. And guys, once you have done that good jazz, just tap in, go back to the home screen. And once you have done that good jazz, all you need to do now is you want to go on the terminal. Alright guys, so once you're on the terminal, what you need to do is type in, okay, I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see because right now you really just can't see nothing. So guys, what you need, the, the commands that you need to type in are basically just type in S. SU. So let's type in SU real quick. SU. Anyways, so what you need to do is tap on return and basically it's going to ask you for the password. So what you need to do is type in Alpine. They're all lowercase guys. I'm sorry, but they're all lowercase. E-I-N-E. -E. And then just tap on return. Once you have done that guys, what you need to do now is type in this other command. It's called change root fs space and. All right, so guys, once you have done that good jazz, all right, guys, so once you have done that good jazz, all you need to do now is just tap on return, and it's gonna bring up this other stuff, and then what you need to do now is basically tap in this other command. It's called uh, okay, so it's called this this own, and then space uh, percentage sign, 
and then all you need to do is tap in one and then just tap on return again and then you should be good guys and so basically you're good to go guys all you need to do now is just basically um, get out of the app so let's let's get out of the terminal app so guys the error that I'm gonna show you here is basically an example of why I created this video and the whole reason why I created this video is so that I can play this game but you can try this you can try this on a literally every single application that you that has a jailbreak detection or whatever basically Fortnite, any of the application that just don't like people who have jailbreaks on their phone so I have this application called Overdux, and basically when I launch it up it's gonna sh it shows me that an error let me just show you my screen here I'm gonna really show it to you. so so when my screen loads up it's basically gonna show you that, that there's like a jailbreak detection and after that the application just automatically just shuts down and I'm like what so I can't play this game but guys here's the trick right so guys once you have done that good jazz that I just told you all right guys so what you need to do is you want to go on settings all right so once you're on settings you want to keep scrolling down until you find uh, terminal uh, kernel bypass so once you have done that good jazz all you need to do now is just go on a, a, a enable application and just find an application that you just really think that it will when it once it detects that, that a phone is actually jailbroken it will uh, just automatically shut you down so guys what I'm gonna do is enable uh, overdux and once you have done that good jazz all you need to do now is respring your device so I'm using our app to respring my device so guys what you need to do is type in your passcode and everything like that and guys once you go back into the application once more let, let's see if it's gonna allow us to like you know play the game or something alright so here's the application and, and everything is loading up and as you can see right there guys there is no problem no nothing at all so now I, I can be able to play uh, the game let me just log in as guest real quick and as you can see right there everything is loading actually so I don't know if I can just, I can't, I can't really show you guys the whole screen but as you can see the application is working the jailbreak detection is out of the way I can play the game no matter like I can play it whenever I want now like literally but when I'm not jailbroken it's basically going to show that I need I have a jailbreak basically Alright guys, so that's the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and if you didn't, please leave a dislike. Thank you again for watching this video. Tishi, I said, is signing off. In the spot, I've been making more videos than I thought. I've been quitting every single week, every day. Every day has been the hardest for me, but I keep going. Yeah, keep going.